Now let's start creating the elements of the first page. First we need to create the slider. Go to File, Import, Import the Stage. You have these two images. Click Open. I'm going to set the width of each of them to 480, which is the exact width of the stage. So this one as well, and this one. Let's set both of their height to 300. Okay. Now let's combine them. Shift click both of them and hit F8, convert them to a symbol, movie clip, we'll call them slider or home slider. Okay. Next we're gonna need the text present here. I already have some dummy text here, lorem epsom. This much should be good. Copy. Go to our text tool. Static text. Change the color to black. Then paste. Dirty. Change this to regular. Maybe a little bit more. Copy. Paste. Paste. It's dummy text anyway. No one cares about the figure. You could add whatever text you want here. Okay, now to create the slider. But notice that the slider is on top of the menu. So whenever the menu slides this way, it's going to be below the slider and below everything else. So what to do here is right click it and then go to arrange, bring to front. Now it's on top of everything else. But there's the problem there's another problem here that the menu button now is not visible. So again, right click it, arrange, bring to front. So now the menu button is above everything else. While the menu slides, the menu button is still visible. Alright, next step is to convert this into a slider. So we'll give it first an instance name of slider. We're going to create a new layer called Actions. And we'll hit F9 to open up our Actions panel. First, we need to set the Multi Touch input mode. So, Multi Touch dot input mode equal to multi touch input mode dot gesture then we need to add an event listener to the slider so slider Add event listener transform gesture event dot add gesture underscore swipe and we'll call the function slide. Now function slide e colon transform gesture event colon void. Now we need some if statements. If e dot offset x is 
is equal to 1, then we'll activate the function called slide right. Right. Else if e dot offset x is equal to minus 1, and we'll activate a function called slide left. Okay, that does it for the function slide. Now to create the function slide right and slide left. Function slide right. Slide dot add event listener event dot enter underscore frame function will be called move right. Okay. And again function slide left slide dot add event listener send event event dot enter underscore frame call the function move left left And we're missing a T here. Okay, now one thing I forgot to add here is the condition that if the current gallery item is less than total number of gallery items and so forth. So we first need to add a couple of variables here. Variable, or let's create those at the top. But let's, let's expand this a little bit. Like this. Okay, so variable current uh, slide it's just that number. Initially we were at the first slide, so we'll set this equal to one. Again variable total slides it's of type number equal to 2. Now I could have done this without using variables I could have just used if it is less than 2 and if it is equal to 2 in these two statements instead of saying if it's less than total number of slides and if it's less than, greater than total number of slides and so on. But I'm using variables so that if later on you've decided to add more gallery items to your slider, more images, you can simply do that by attaching first the image to the right here and simply changing the number of total slides to 3 or 4 or 5 or however, how much you want. So here inside the slide right, we write if current slide is greater than 1 then we will dent this this move an S here slide right then current slide minus minus here if current slide is less than total slides then to indent this like so slide left and current 
slide plus plus. Now, function move right e colon event colon void and first we need to start adding uh, to the x position of the slide so slide dot x plus equals 48 we'll define a variable on top here variable slide counter it's of type number equal to zero slide counter plus plus if slide counter is equal to 10 then slide counter equals 0 and so this copy this paste change this to remove all right now let's copy this function as it is paste it change this to move left and slide dot x minus equals and the same remains here except this one will be move left now we should be done with the slider let's hit control enter to test let's try this one more time oh I see what we've done here actually got confused between the name slider and slide this here is trying to add an event listener to the function slide what we wanted to do is to add an event listener to the slider we have on the stage. So we need to change this to slider and this also. This one and this one. What else do we have? Okay, now that should be it. Unless there are more which there are there we go there's one there's two okay now that should be it control enter test again hopefully this time we won't have any errors go to touch and gesture turn on the touch layer and swipe and it works perfectly Great. So that's the home page taken care of.